Hello there, welcome, welcome to this video. Uh, this is me, the first video with my picture. So, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the uh, QR code generator app in Swift UI. So, uh, we'll just head to the road and I will show you what is the functionality of it, and then we're going to take a look at how to build it and how to code. Uh, in this tutorial, you will learn the basics of UI, how to uh, arrange the widget in the Swift UI and basics of Swift UI and also basic of uh, Swift and how to generate the, uh, a QR code with Swift and then how to save it, save this QR code to gallery and to the photos app and then you can use the QR code everywhere you want and uh, we use some packages like core image and yeah core image and swift ui so let, uh, let me just show you the functionality here i put some text here for example google.com and i generate the qr code here so it generates us and generated for us so i save the qr code here to the photos and here i think it's saved let me just show you photos and yep here this is our QR code here, right there. Sorry about that. Right there, here we have it. So, this is a very beautiful app, and uh, you can learn a lot from it. So, uh, hit the like button, share, share it with your friend, and hit the subscribe button to support me. And here we go, we're gonna jump to the coding. So, here I have a blank project named QR code app in the Xcode. Uh, and first of all, I have to import for image and again import for image dot uh, ci filter this one so here after that we have a uh, struct uh, no let me just uh, hit the struct later so here we have some variable at state Page private var text equals to no and empty string and at state private var and your code image and the type of UI image and the optional image. So here we have these two variables. This is one for the text. This text we, uh, the user can input or uh, it is an empty string. And here we have a QR code image that did generate for us. So after that, in our body, we have the stack. Here, uh, we have to, uh, first of all, use the ZS stack, and then we have to uh, build this beautiful gradient. So here we have a ZS stack, and after that we have a linear gradient, and here we have the gradient here. So, for our gradient, we have colors, and here we have an array of colors, and we have dot black, dot uh, gray, sorry about that, gray, and we have dot white here. And the start point would be dot top lane, and the end point would be the bottom trailing. So here, let us see, resume it, yep, here we have it. So here in the ZS side, we have the uh, attribute that ignore save area. So here we have it right there. So after that, we have the ZS stack. And in the ZS stack, we have the text here that said QR code generator. And for that, we have a font. And we have a large title here, and we have some hiding here. So here we have it. After that, we have a text field, text field. Yep, and here we have to enter some text. And here for our value would be the dollar sign text. So here we have the font would be dot headline. And the padding, and after that we have the background, 
And for our background, we have to use ultra thin material. So here, and what is that? No, we don't want the formatter here. This is, this is not a value, we got this text. So here we have it, yep. And after that, we have a clip shape. For clip shape, we use capsule. And here, we have another really palette. So here we have it right there. Nicely done. After that, we have a button, I think. Yep. Button. <clears throat> and for our button here, we have a text that generate, generate your code. And for the action, we have to do something here. So for our styling, we have the font would be dot headline. And the foreground color would be much primary. And after that, you have the button style. Button style would be that border. Yep. And the clip shape again. Clip shape capsule. And we have a padding. Yep. So nicely done. After that, uh, we can just rerun the app so you can see it. After that, we have to use some condition. If our QR code image is equal to null, we have to show this one. Please enter some text. Uh, and if it is false, it is not equal to null. For example, to null.com, and it can generate and it show us the QR code. So here, we have the if QR code image not equal to no, new, yep. And here we have the QR code view at uh, let me just um, uh, hit the else first and then we have to uh, create some strikes. So here we have a text. Please enter some text. And for our foreground color, but and color would be that indigo and the font would be that headline and here we have the frame the width would be 200 and the height would be 200 also so here and after the else you have the text and here I use on create created by me aka clear salary and here we have it so <coughs> sorry about that so we have to uh, create a strike here name uh, qr code view and this is the type of view here and here we have it and we have two binding variables here binding variable qr code image and this is a type of UI image and this is optional and again binding here for the text text and the string so here it was uh, binding so we, we have a VS stack and here let me just uh this is the image and the UI image this is QR code image and the optional with the explanation mark and the recitable and the frame would be uh, equal to this one with 200 and 200. So and we have the corner radius of five and here we have the yep. And here we have text that. Uh, show us our intertext and here we have the UI and we have the QR code here. So here we have that pattern. So here we have uh, our QR code view. So here let me just show you how to. So here I have the QR code. QR code review. Um, 
for the QR code image, we use dollar sign QR code image, and for the text, we use dollar sign text. So, uh, let's let's jump to the generate QR code, and then I think we are done. So here we have the function. We just some certain function generate QR code. So it takes some text about the screen. And you can find the text and option on it. So here we have a let filter equal to CI filter dot um, QR code generator. So we have guard let data equal to X dot data using dot add speed and allow loose it conversation and conversion equal to false and for else we return new yep. after that we have a filter that message equal to data and here we have a garplet ci image equals to filter filter dot ci that output image and else we return again new. And here let transform equals to CGA affiliate transform, FA transform, and for the scale X would be 10, and Y would be 10 also, and the let scale image equal to ci image dot transform by transform and here we have that ui image equal to ui image and we have ci image here scale image and here we have return ci ui image dot png data so this is our function here now let's just jump to the do something here and um, let me just look here here QR code image equals to generate QR code image and the text would be uh, no, is not QR code image equals to UI image and the data would be generate QR code and the text would be text and here we have explanation to explanation mark here so Right there, we have it. And for our saving to the gallery, let's then just show you a little bit of that So, let me just uh, put some spacer here. So, here we have a spacer. And here we have another spacer. Spacer. Here, yeah, nice. We have it. So, here for our uh, saving to gallery, we have to use a button here to create our button here. Save. Let's say your code to photos. And here for our action, we have regardless. Range the red image equal to image renderer and the contents would be QR code view. Here we have the variables QR code image, other sign QR code image, and the binding and the text and binding text. What is happening here? In spaces, so here we have it, and here we have else return return. Yep, and for saving, we have UI image image right right to save photo album, and for the image UI image, we have render it image and 
other would be nil, mean, and mean. So here we have it. Let me see what is what is happening. Mirror content. Yep. Here we have to set that. Yeah. Right here we have it. So uh, we have to uh, set the permission here. Your info and yeah, let me just uh, see what is exact name here. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we have to add privacy. And here we have photos, library, addition, user description. And here, same the link, draw code to photos. Yeah. This is the one. So, uh, here we have nicely done it. Let me just run that. Here we have it. Yep. So uh, I say dot 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 dot. Yeah. So we found this my official website. So here we have the QR code here. We have it here and say to the lottery. Yep. Here QR code as we'd like to add to your photos. And this is our text that we entered there. Let me show you. There are the same of the photos. And you can uh, use your own text here. And here we say OK, and here we can just remove this one, the next one, and here we have our QR code saving to our file. So, this is our tutorial. Uh, hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy it. it. Hope, hope you like, like it. it. Uh, if you like, like it, support me. Please support me by liking this video, by sharing it with your friends, and by subscribing my channel. I take the effort for. Uh, uploading a brand new tutorial every day. So uh, stay tuned and don't, don't miss the future tutorial. And uh, until then, please watch the old ones. And if you like it, uh, like me, or uh, if there is anything wrong with my tune, with my presentation, with my teaching style, please uh, comment it for me. Uh, to, I appreciated that and it helped me so much. So this is the one. This is uh, our QR code app. So uh, hope uh, you uh, hope to see, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and have a great time.